So that's what it's looking like. They just don't want to leave each other. Look. Ooh. Poopies. It's like I murdered a pizza. Do you hear that? It sounds like fireworks happening in the air fryer. Hey guys, it's your girl Tina here. I am back with part two of TikTok air fryer recipes. As always, welcome back to my lovely kitchen. Let's get started. Also, don't forget to thumb this video. <laughs> this first recipe has over 7 million views. Let's make cinnamon French toast sticks, but in the air fryer. Start by removing all the crust from your Texas toast and then cut into three per slice. To make sure you don't get soggy French toast, we're going to put them in our Drio air fryer for three minutes. While that's going, get a bowl, crack in two eggs, a half cup of milk, one teaspoon each, cinnamon, vanilla, and brown sugar. Mix. Set to the side. In a new bowl, half a cup of sugar, one tablespoon cinnamon, and mix. Now that we got our sticks nice and toasted, we're going to dip them into the egg mixture, cook them for 10 minutes, and then dip them into our cinnamon mixture. Serve with syrup and enjoy. Alrighty, let's cut the crust off of the bread. Then I'm going to air fry these so they don't get soggy and it's going in for three minutes. Whilst that's in the air fryer, I'm gonna make my mixture with eggs and milk plus some other stuff. I don't remember the, on the top of my head. Ah, the shell. Oh my God. I'm so bad. So in goes two eggs, a half cup of milk. Then we're gonna add in cinnamon, vanilla, and brown sugar, one teaspoon each and then give that a good mix. Now I'm gonna dip my bread into this mixture. Ugh. Oh no, that slimy egg. Get off, get off. It's like a booger. You probably don't need this much egg. Maybe one egg and half the amount of milk. And then I'll pop it back in the air fryer for 10 minutes. So that's what it's looking like. It's quite crispy actually. I'm gonna dip this in my cinnamon sugar mixture. It's not sticking. <laughs> I have to coat it on top. Why aren't you sticking? There's no, it's so dry that it, there's nothing for it to stick onto. Now in the TikTok video, she did say serve it with syrup. I'm gonna skip the syrup because I feel like it's gonna be quite sweet already, but you do you if you like it. I'm gonna do a taste test. It tastes like a donut. I don't know if it's because of the cinnamon sugar. I was kind of wrong, it's not overly sweet, but for me, this is just right, but you could go with syrup, I actually think. Maybe she was right. Zen, you wanna try? I'm just gonna pop more cinnamon sugar on it instead of syrup. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. 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 Is that not a donut? Yeah, <laughs> it really tastes like a donut. It's supposed to be French toast. What do you think? Nah. What? <laughs> nah. I wish it was like a bit crunchier, like toast. Mm. Okay, okay. Mm, that's about, yeah. Let's just say this recipe didn't wow us and it was actually a lot more effort than normal toast. It's meh. At the end of it, I think it's still very consumable. Doesn't taste too bad, but like Alfred said, he was like meh. That's about, yeah. Meh, meh. Side thumb. If you want another breakfast option, you might like the savory one. Let's make crispy air fryer breakfast potatoes. Start with four white or yellow potatoes and make vertical slices with the narrow side facing you. Try to make sure they're consistently thick. Slice one way so you have sticks and the other way so you have cubes. Then toss that into a bowl with some spices, baking powder, arrowroot, starch, oil, salt, and pepper. Mix it all together, refrigerate for 30 minutes, and then it goes in the air fryer for 15 minutes. I also bagged and froze the rest to cook for later. Once the potatoes are ready, serve it in a bowl, top it with spicy mayo, green onions, and enjoy. Breakfast potatoes. She left the skin on her potatoes, but I've just peeled mine. So now I'm gonna chop them up. Chew them. So here are my little potato cubes. Now I'm gonna add in all the seasoning, except parsley. I don't have dried parsley. 
And as always, I'm just gonna eyeball it. I love garlic powder. Away. And then I'm gonna pop this in the fridge for 30 minutes. Okay, so now these potatoes are ready to go in the air fryer for five minutes. My potatoes are cooked. I'm gonna top it off with my spicy mayo and sprinkle some spring onions on top. Voila! <laughs> this actually looks so good, but I've never had this type of potatoes for breakfast. Oh, they're all stuck together. They just don't want to leave each other. Look. I mean, it tastes good, but it's not wow, fantastic, you know? Okay, here, try. There's three on there. It's just potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> that is what it is. It's exactly how you think it would taste. It kind of has like potato gems. You know those like frozen ones you buy? It's no Michelin star potatoes, let's just say. This would be a good sort of like a side to have if you're having like steak oh. or something or like chicken and then you want a side of yeah. potatoes. I would make this, but I think to eat it on its own, it's quite uh, unimpressive. Oh, breakfast, you can eat it with like scrambled eggs. Yeah, I think maybe that's what it just needs to accompany something else. It's not bad, but it's also not good. It's just okay. In saying that, I think we'll finish it anyway. What We're else hungry. Are, what else are you gonna do with that? We just gonna eat it. I don't think it's even worth getting Alfred to try this. He's with baby at the moment and she's napping, so I don't want to risk waking her up. I think Zen and I, we're capable of voting. Sight them. Sight them. Now, if you thought boiling eggs was already easy, this is even easier. Okay, this one's so simple. All you need is two eggs, pop it in the air fryer for six minutes. So I've taken my eggs out and I've popped it in an ice bath so then they can cool and I'm gonna peel it. FYI, I'm really bad at peeling eggs. I always like stab my nail in it. So hopefully we get nice eggs today. Why did no. they get stuck? Zed, take over. <laughs> Take over. Look at Zen peel this egg. Professional egg peeler. Okay, Zen has successfully peeled the eggs. I've quickly seasoned it. Pop some. Please excuse my crying baby in the background. Alfred is feeding her and she's very hungry. Anyway, so I've seasoned it with pepper, soy sauce, a little bit of like paprika flakes, some spring onions. But now, it is time to cut it open to see if they're, they're jammy. Is that what, is that what? Runny? <laughs> runny, runny, that's the word, but it's called jammy eggs. You know, you know what I mean. Ready? Oh, oh my God, it's so soft. Oh, look at that. Oh yes, it is gooey. It is still very yolky on the inside. Let's cut open egg number two. This one's not as runny, but it's still... Oh, there you go. There you go. I spoke too soon. Okay. Taste test. We all know what egg tastes like. Let's hear a mic. Can't win. Kind of wish I didn't wear a crop top today. It used to be longer, guys, until my boobs grew because I'm breastfeeding. So if I pull it down, you can see my mic. If I pull it up, you can see a lot of skin. So let's go with a lot of skin. Ooh. I feel like this taste test is kind of unnecessary because we all know what eggs taste like, but let's just go for it. I'm just gonna do it in one go. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's so good to be able to eat runny eggs again because I couldn't throughout my whole pregnancy. So this is a hit. It's actually so easy. I think this is how I'm gonna make my soft boiled eggs from now on. Then I feel like it's impolite if I don't invite you to, to taste test this. But then it's just an egg. <laughs> It's perfectly cooked. Mm, it's an egg. Thumbs. Alf's busy feeding the baby, so let's just, uh, we'll save this 
But later. This next recipe looks bomb. Y'all asked and we've delivered. Let's make some air fried pepperoni pizza bombs. Roll out your dough, spread some marinara sauce, drop in your mozzarella cheese and top with pepperoni minis. Scrunch that up and smooth it out. Melt some butter and add diced garlic and parsley, then spread on top of the dough. Air fry at 350 for nine minutes, remove and pull them apart. All right, let's roll out our dough. Then I'm gonna add in my tomato, tomato, tomato. So they look like boobies. <laughs> I'm gonna add in some cheese. I don't have pepperoni mini, so I'm just gonna put in some ham. And then I'm gonna try to wrap this up. Oh my god. Oh my god, the oh sauce my. is oozing out. Oh my god, it is not. <laughs> I think it's my dough. <laughs> it's like I murdered a pizza. Oh my god, this is totally not what was supposed to happen. I think it's the dough, it's not like... No! <laughs> We're just making wontons. Um, I think it's our dough that didn't uh, quite turn out as expected, but let us continue with this anyway. Okay guys, this is a mess, but I think I'm just gonna air fry it anyway to see how it tastes, but Clearly it's because my dough isn't properly made and I don't have time to make new dough. So let's just go with it. So here's um, my, what shall we call it? Little pizza pies, <laughs> dumplings, pizza dumplings. I'm just gonna break one. Oh, it's so hot. I mean, it still smells pretty good. Let's just do a taste test. Mm. Tastes pretty good. Just doesn't look good. And it really wasn't the recipe. Mm. It's not bad. It's just not a bomb. It's just not a bomb. It turned out to be a pie. I mean, the ingredients are all there. It's just presentation. We failed badly. I'm going to give this one a side thumb just because we messed it up. But I'm sure if you actually went and got pre-made dough, you won't be able to stuff this up, seriously. Mm. It's actually not bad. The dough is just not as fluffy as I would like it, but it kind of tastes like I'm eating crust all around. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I'm kind of skeptical about this one, but if you're looking for a quick movie snack, Try this out. Let's make air fryer popcorn. Honestly, it was the easiest thing ever, but the first time I added too much kernels, so make sure you add half a cup of kernels and so tasty and so easy. I would have never thought to make popcorn in an air fryer, so I'm interested in seeing if this works. I have my corn kernels here. Ta-da! I think the trick is not to put too much, so I'm just gonna put like a handful Okay, that was not enough. Two handfuls. Maybe one more handful. Three handfuls. Maybe my hand's not that big. Then I'll pop it in the air fryer for seven minutes at 200 degrees Celsius. Do you hear that? It sounds like fireworks happening in the air fryer. It's popping. <laughs> Okay guys, I heard the popping slow down and so I decided to stop it because I didn't put as many kernels as her. And look, it worked pretty good. It's unseasoned at the moment, so. Mm. Mm. Tastes like popcorn. It works, guys, it works. And I thought it'd be really messy, but it's actually not. As long as you don't put too many kernels for your air fryer, so be careful. You know, even unseasoned, it tastes pretty good. Of course, you can go and add butter and salt to it. But honestly, I'm, I can't stop eating now. <laughs> thumbs up. Double thumbs. Hey, Daddy. Try it. It's like perfectly cooked. Say hi, aunties and uncles. I'm making my cameo in Mummy's TikTok recipe videos. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Oops. Never mind that, she's throwing up. <laughs> Just get, you can have a popcorn. Unseasoned. Ah! I'm gonna leave that here for you, Daddy. Yeah. Not perfect. <laughs> thumbs. Show us your thumbs. Show us your thumbs. Thumbs up, Lila. Thumbs up. Yay! Oh my god, this wide lens makes my arms look so long. We have come to the end of this episode. What do you guys think? I feel like some of the recipes today or the cooking techniques with the air fry definitely makes life easier. For example, the egg and the popcorn. If you guys have any other air fryer recipes, let me know below. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos. And if you're still hungry and you wanna see more recipes, I've got a playlist up there or in my description box. Make sure you thumb this video. It's Four. like eating a... Ba-dum-bum, do 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 do